Welcome to uh, Wednesday's Market Sit, Rep from Tompkin Options. I'm Matthew Buckley, call sign Wiz, the primary model portfolio manager here at TGO, and seeing a little bit of a, uh, a relief pullback, so to speak, in the market. Saw uh, pretty significant rallies on Monday and Tuesday out of the market on uh, somewhat good earnings news and some economic uh, data that hit the market. Uh, so seeing a little bit of a relief pullback today, which uh, which works out perfectly. Uh, have a lot of economic events later on in the day from our banker, actually later on tonight from our banker, China. Let's take a look at that. The big one that we talked about yesterday in our SITREP is China GDP. 7.6% uh, last time. Uh, the 500 pound heads are looking for 7.4%. So it's going to be interesting to see the health of our banker. And they also have some other significant uh, retail sales, industrial production coming out as well from China. Today, in the United States, we saw building permits coming in better than uh, expected or forecast, and also housing starts as well. Uh, so the market, even though we're seeing a lot of green shoots in housing, uh, didn't didn't really rally on this news at all. Tomorrow on the flight schedule, we have normal weekly unemployment claims, and we'll see if uh, the government's going to manipulate those this week. Uh, this week. Philly Fed Manufacturing uh, Index, Conference Board uh, numbers as well, and then on Friday, the all uh, important existing home sales, and they're coming in uh, forecast to be a, a little bit below what they were uh, last time. What's going on uh, around the world and uh, in, operationally in the United States as well? Well, obviously, Madrid's still playing with a, a bailout, uh, so that's simmering on the back burner as well. And uh, last night, unless you were in a cave, you knew that the, the second presidential debate happened, and it was just an absolute embarrassment to uh, our democracy, the way uh, those two men conducted themselves, more importantly, the way President Obama did. I mean, just to do a complete 180 and go from, you know, subdued to absolute jerk, uh, it, it, it just, it, it comes off poorly. Uh, completely bailed on the answer about Libya, uh, and, and folks, the difference between Libya and Watergate was nobody died in Watergate, and it's, it's an absolute cover-up uh, that the media is complicit in, and uh, Candy Crowley, the moderator last night, more than helped uh, the president out last night on that question about Libya by saying he did, in fact, call it an act of terrorism the next day, when he didn't. So, it was a 2v1 right there, uh, and I, I couldn't even watch anymore, but, uh, so, uh, that that is going to impact the market we're trading the hell out of the election and the volatility leading up to the election and our Top Gun Options model portfolio. A lot of good stuff going on in the model portfolio, uh, which we'll get to in a second. But yesterday I saw some interesting uh, news out of Citigroup. Uh, Vikram Pandit had what we call in the military a no-ban change of command. That's kind of when you leave and uh, <laughs> you don't get a band and you don't get, your wife doesn't get any flowers. So he had a no-band change of command yesterday. Uh, and obviously this stock uh, took a little bit of a hit, starting to get a little bit of a relief rally today, given a lot of uh, what it gave back yesterday. Uh, what else happened? Goldman Sachs came in with, you know, the giant squid came in with better numbers than expected. They're Goldman Sachs. They're going to do that. But last night... Um, Interesting news out of IBM uh, and Intel. They they beat, but not necessarily beat. And then you know forecasted uh, not so good uh, down the uh, down the road. Especially Intel. Look at this, giving back three percent today. And this is just not uh, Intel's kind of a uh, um, you know. They get their tombstone ready. Uh, they're almost turning into a rim at this level. You know, they have good technology and and, and kind of an existing company, but it's not going to uh, it's not going to end well. Um, Folks, we're having a blast here in our model portfolio, like I said, since March 1st when I took over the model portfolio through uh, today uh, on $50,000 of haircut. Uh, we used anywhere between forty-five, sixty-five thousand dollars of our hundred thousand dollar model portfolio, and we're up one hundred nine thousand dollars. It's about two hundred and what twenty, two hundred twenty percent return uh, in seven months, eight, seven eight months. That's that's. Uh, Discipline, risk management, and superior execution. Seen some good news out of Green Mountain Coffee Roasters. We had an iron condor on there that wasn't looking too good, and all of a sudden Starbucks got hit in the teeth today with some legal issues, so Green Mountain Coffee's uh, responding. Put a weekly Apple uh, uh, iron condor on as well that's uh, starting to look pretty good, uh, and uh, trying to get filled, uh, filled on a... Uh, uh, Valiant Pharmaceuticals Iron Condor and also a Chipotle Weekly here that uh, could potentially bring in about um, f what was that four or five thousand dollars into our model portfolio. So a lot of stuff going on here in Top Gun Options. Uh, again, we're trading the hell out of the market. This is good stuff. Uh, some earning events today to look at: American Express, Abbott, Bank of America uh, did uh, some good work today. Uh, stopped the bleeding, so to speak. Pepsi Limited is going to be interesting uh, as well. 
and uh, just some good stuff going on. If you're interested in uh, taking a look uh, at a free test flight of our, not a free test flight because I'm not a charity, if you want to do a, a test flight of our uh, Trade Alert and Live Trade Brief services, go to services right here uh, on the Topkin Options homepage, click over, uh, hover over TA and LTB combo, and that's where you can get the Trade Alerts and the live tra access to the live trade briefs as well. That's about four or five hours of live trading each week throughout the week, and then skill-based live trade alerts that are emailed to you and sent via SMS. Matter of fact, I just sent out a, uh, a, a, a text alert on Green Mountain Coffee Roasters and what we're going to be doing with that position. So uh, definitely stop by, give us a test flight uh, on that link. Uh, and like I said, we're going to be doing some good work uh, coming in earnings here. Uh, we have the, the Chipotle weekly trade we have on is an earnings trade. It's an iron condor, and we put our uprights, you know, the, the short strikes of the iron condor right around um, – you know the 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 max expected move, so it's a high probability iron condor uh, that we're looking uh, to uh, take max potential profit on. Last week we closed out uh, four or five. No, um, that was about four grand in Apple, about th another four grand in Chipotle, and some other positions. Closed uh, closed the week out last week for a ten percent profit in the model. Pro actually, twenty percent profit on fifty thousand dollars a haircut for about ten thousand dollars in profits last week. So uh, have a good time. If you're not having a good time trading this market, you're probably doing it wrong, okay? Uh, and that's just uh, the brutal truth because uh, take it from anybody who's at Topkin Options right now, uh, we're doing some good work, okay? Happy hunting. Make sure you hedge, and I'll uh, be back with tomorrow's uh, market sit rep.